Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and I'm here today at Rock Island taking a look at a Set Me Sport with an extremely unusual buttstock on it. This is the stock that was developed for the Set Me Modelo 1958, or Modelo B, for specifically vehicle crew and paratrooper use. And oh boy, I can very clearly see why this didn't go into uh, extended service and why this is so rare today. So what we have here is actually a Setme Sport rifle. This is one of the guns that was imported uh, for the Mars Equipment Corporation in the 1960s, one of the, in fact, the very first imported batch of Setme rifles. And there's a little bit of a mix going on here, because this rifle is a Setme Model C, which means it was designed, it was built for 7.62 NATO, where this stock was actually issued on Setme Modelo B rifles, which were developed, or which were chambered in the what's called the 7.62 Setme cartridge, which is dimensionally identical to 7.62 NATO, but loaded to a lower pressure because the early Setme rifles had, well, they'd originally been designed for a substantially lighter pressure cartridge, and the Spanish had some issues just trying to run them with uh, full pressure NATO ammunition. It could be done, but it, the guns didn't last all that long. So what would ultimately happen is the Modelo B was adopted in 1958, including small numbers with these stocks for vehicle crews and paratroopers. Uh, by, the by 1964 they had developed the Modelo C version uh, in 7.62 NATO, and by the early 1970s they had basically updated everything that was in service to the new C pattern style. So uh, let me show you this thing up close, because that's a very interesting stock. All right, there are our receiver markings, um, you know, this being a Mars import gun. They did also put scope mounting points on the receivers. There's the, the marking on the gun on this side. So this is actually, you know, even without that really interesting buttstock, this is a genuinely very valuable, very collectible, very early set me rifle. Note that we have the early set me pattern of rear sight here, which is a uh, sort of a four aperture um, rotating system. Um, this the Germany, when they adopted this rifle, of course, would go to uh, a drum that, that rotates on the vertical axis. Okay, now the stock here looks like an AK underfolding stock. However, it is actually a top folding stock, and the butt plate is locked in place by this catch right there. So to deactivate that, you actually have to pull this spring latch backwards, and then you can rotate the butt plate. We actually want it to go that way. And then you have to press both of these releases, and then you can fold the butt stock. It's going to go up over the top like that. Now the issue that we have here is this stock is very short. However, the length of pull is actually totally standard. So if I compare this to a, say, a Polytech underfolding AK, which is a straight copy of the Chinese Type 56, you'll see that I've got the triggers in the same place. And the buttstock is at the same length. That's, that's the length of pull. And that would make you think that, okay, this is actually going to be a reasonably comfortable rifle to shoot. The problem is with the location of where your face needs to go to get the sights. And that's like here. And you'll notice on the AK, you can put your face there without any problem. Not quite so much on the, the set me. All right, let me see if I can demonstrate this. Hopefully you guys can see what's going on here. The length of pull, like I said, is fine. The problem is your cheek wants to sit right here. So in order to get a sight picture, let's go ahead and use one of the apertures, that gives me a proper sight picture. And I literally have, like, I have the stock button up my nose doing it. And the, the back of the receiver here, which has to be this long to accommodate the recoil buffer and you know, stop the bolt from coming out the back of the gun, that thing is resting right on like the lower orbital bone, right in my cheek. I, I really can't imagine actually shooting this thing with a proper sight picture and cheek weld, and I'm really not sure what the designers were thinking with it. The other cool element on this particular set me, of course, is the handguard. Uh, a number of these rifles that were imported uh, were imported with this metal handguard with a folding 
bipod built into it, which gives this a very FAL-like appearance. Uh, this is something that was also adopted in limited numbers by the Spanish military. And so uh, when Mars imported SETMEs, they got a mixture of uh, wood handguards, which is what we would come to expect on the SETME Model C, uh, and these metal bipod integrated handguards. So this particular rifle, which by the way uh, is out of Larry Vickers' personal collection, um, this one with the metal handguard and that overfolding stock is a, a really cool combination of kind of exotic set me features. Now the handguard here is interchangeable uh, across any standard pattern of receiver. It's just attached with these two push pins. Um, in fact, there should be no reason that we can't just take that off and show you. So if I pull these two pins, like so, this will just come off the back of the receiver. It's got a recoil spring in there. It has its own captive recoil spring guide rod. And we have a recoil buffer built into this end cap. So this is just a replacement end cap that will go on any standard SETME or I suspect uh, HK pattern rifle. In fact, you can see down here that they started with a standard piece of end cap sheet metal and then instead of attaching the regular wood stock, which has plenty of room for the recoil buffer in it, uh, or plastic stock, they went ahead and added this extra uh, extension at the back uh, to house that recoil buffer. Well, I have seen pictures of this stock, uh, as far as I can recall, this is the first time I've ever actually seen one of them in real life, and it's pretty cool. It, it, in some ways it's more fun to see the stuff that was not very well thought out than some of the things that were thought out. Because if it was thought out well, it becomes tends to become pretty darn popular, and it's this kind of thing that becomes rare and exotic. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.